So yesterday, or two days ago, when I was writing topic one, um, it was, again, around an article that I was reading that ultimately had to do with how many customers you may have lost today because you may not have a good feel for the front line. And as you all know, who watch this show regularly, topic one comes from either Chris or my or another business, uh, something that happened during the week. And in this case, uh, I was visiting one of our restaurants who uh, opened without a sign. And as, much, as hard as we tried to direct those customers towards the front doors, you would sit there in the window, kind of watch those customers not know where the front door was, no matter what we did to communicate with them. And short of putting someone out there and directing all traffic, you know, you could just feel yourself losing those customers. And it wasn't until, you know, I was hearing this from our management and I was hearing this from our staff and I kind of blew it off, I'll be honest with you. And then I ended up sitting there, saw it. Uh, and, and certainly took a lot faster uh, action towards resolving the problem. Now, it wasn't as much in my control as I would have liked, but the point was still there, that as soon as the person who is in charge of um, having some sort of strategic planning for this business actually got their feet on the ground and saw it, I could move a little faster. And so what I'm trying to help you prevent is that disconnect from managing a little bit from afar, uh, you know, against those front lines. And then yesterday... Chris produced a blog post uh, that was entitled uh, First Day. And it was so along the same lines, but truthfully, so much better an example of really what I think I was trying to say. And so we wanted to bring it on the show this week. Chris, you wrote it yesterday. We talked a little bit about it before the show that, you would, that you'd like to explore it a little bit more. So can you walk us down the, the idea of this post and, and what, what came out of it for you? Well, sure. I mean, one of the things that I was uh, thinking about, this all came from an experience I had with uh, Jack Carley, uh, Fitarella, and my girlfriend. She wanted to go to yoga as part of her birthday weekend, and it was going to be my first experience with yoga. So her friend Beth uh, was the teacher, and I was just very aware that as I walk into this class, Beth, Beth knows that this is my first day there. This is my first experience with yoga, you know, per se. I mean, I've had some background, but not, this is my first class. So this woman is really tasked with not just teaching this class today, she's teaching me that I'm going to like it or not like it forevermore. Like she knows that if this doesn't work out for me, she's doomed. You know what I mean? She has ruined yoga for me. And so I just had this big feeling of like, wow, what is this going to mean? How is this going to matter? And I guess in my mind, uh, where I went with that is let's talk about, oh my gosh, they're amazing. When I, when I, when I thought about this, I thought, how do you on-ramp anybody in any business. I mean, my site is not made for if it's your first day. When you go to chrisbrogan.com, you are thrown into the current storyline without any other warming up. Uh, I may or may not do a few things that are helpful, but I really haven't made a great first day path. So, I mean, I think in all businesses, the question is, how do you make it good for newcomers uh, to feel that sense that here's the story so far, here's where we are previously on Heroes, you know, how do we make that work? And to me, I think that that's something that's going to really help drive uh, loyalty and retention, which is another way uh, to, to continue having better customer experiences. I, I, again, it hit me in a different way. I'm sure you saw me writing while you were speaking because it, it applies in so many ways. I think you just assume that you're picking up that customer midstream. That blog post really hit me. I'm so glad that you were able to uh, to write it that day and it hit you then again and the, the way that you write is always so generally it, for some reason the way that you write always pulls the idea out of me in a different way every time I read it that's like the sixth time uh, I have approached that content so thank you again I, uh, I sometimes I forget how fortunate I am to be um, so in such cl close proximity to you and, and the way that you're able to express yourself thank you for that <laughs> 